Explorers Kid Explorer here and today I'm at my computer because I had someone ask in a former house sitter video about what they should put in their profile. So in today's video, I'm going to go through my profile. I'm gonna talk about the six different elements that goes into the trusted house sitter's profile. And hopefully this will help you in preparing yourself when you go to sit down and create your profile. Now I must say, this is how I created my profile. What worked for me may or may not work for you. So, and don't go in there and like write it exactly how I have written it because they're gonna know. <laughs> <laughs> that is not you because it's not genuine. So I'm gonna go over each of these pieces. So make sure you stay to the end so you can hear all six pieces that go into the Trusted House Service profile. And again, I am Kid Explorer and here on my channel, I talk about all things travel and sustainability. So make sure you hit the subscribe button for free. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Now let's head into today's video. So I am now on my computer and I am in my profile to edit it. And again, this is my profile, this is what worked for me, and it is not guaranteed that it's gonna work for you. You have to find your own vibe and your own style when creating your profile that is meant for you. Because they will know, if you apply for a house sit, a homeowner will know if that was not truly you. And you want to make sure you get good reviews so you can continue to book house sits on Trusted House Sitters. Like I said, there are six different areas in the profile that you have to complete. I definitely recommend thinking about this and maybe making some notes before you come in here and create your profile. So the first area is your profile details. So let's go inside of this. So your profile details is literally information about you your name, your date of birth, your gender, occupation, and what your job title is. It also will ask you if you'll be sitting alone. So if I'm going by myself to do a house sit, or if I'm bringing a partner, a friend, or a family member along with me, you can select that option as well. And it will also ask you if you'll be taking any children, house, and pet sitting. So they want you to know this information. This is critical for people to know when you go and uh, sit in their house because they may have preferences on if they want an additional person in the house or just solo, or if they want children in their house or not. And plus, it's also good to know exactly the person that's coming in. Next up is the About You section. So I'm going to click on Edit and we're gonna go in the About You section. So this is where you can put a photo of yourself. You wanna make sure the photo, as it says, is clear, and it is a picture of yourself. If you're going to take someone along with you, you may wanna include them in the photo as well because the homeowner wants to see who's coming in their house. So make sure it's a photo of yourself, it's clear, and they can see exactly who you are and who's coming along with you. I've had people apply for houses for my home. It's not even a picture of themselves. It may be an animal or something, which is cool, but I wanna see exactly who the person is coming into my home. And I want it to be a friendly, warm photo as well. And that's what you want to look for. Also on the About You section, you can add other photos of you. And you would want to add photos of you interacting, you traveling, you just having a great life, being happy. And you also want to include photos of you taking care of pets, if possible. That would be great to add in here. So as you can see, I have different photos and you can give an explanation of each photo as you go. Also, you wanna put down where you're located in here. Now you get to the introduction. This is where you're giving a lot of information in this About Me section. In the introduction, you're gonna talk about who you are. You're gonna say your name, you're gonna talk about what you do in your day-to-day -day life, what you're interested in and what your passions are, but, now you're gonna go down to why do you want a house and pet sit? This is a very important part of the profile because when you apply for houses, people want to know the answer to this. You wanna state your purpose of why you wanna pet and house sit. It may be because you wanna travel the globe and see different places and you don't have a place to live. And also you can leave your social profiles, so your LinkedIn or your Airbnb because your LinkedIn is your business page. It shows you 
but shows them more about who you are in your job or career professional life. And then your Airbnb, if you are a host of an experience or you're a home host, you can actually leave the link to your profile and people can go in and see those reviews which those reviews can be very helpful in getting an actual house pet sit. Next section of your Trust the House Sitters profile is the experience page. So your experience house and pet sitting. So you're going to click on edit. And so they're gonna ask simple questions in the beginning, like have you looked after people's pets and homes before? Be honest, because if you're not honest, they will find out if you get accepted for a house or pet sit do a horrible job they will find out so make sure you answer this accurately and then also answer what type of pets you've cared for in the past and now you're going to really get in detail about your experience caring for pets and homes and again be honest if you never care for someone else's home or pet you can definitely say that in this section and say how you're going to learn and how you're going to actually be good at being a home and pet sitter. But if you've had experience, this is where you want to talk about how you did in that experience and what you did. So if you've owned a pet before, that's a great thing to include in this section of your experience. If you've watched a friend's pet for a day or so, include this in this section and talk about that experience. As for home sitting, Make sure you talk about if you are a homeowner, talk about that here. Even if you don't own a home and you have an apartment, talk about how you take care and maintain your home. People want to know this because they don't want you coming in here and leaving their home a mess. So you need to talk about those experiences in that section. All right, moving right along through our Trust the House Sitter profile. And the fourth section we're gonna complete is your preferences. So let's click on edit and go in here. So your preferences can be what kind of places that you want to visit and want to house it in. You can select all of these if you want or you don't want, but my preferences, as you can see, are beach or city lifestyle. You may just be interested to go with the wind and go anywhere in the world, which is fine. Obviously when you say anywhere in the world, it doesn't have that selection anymore. But once you click, I would like to go to specific countries, then you can select which countries you like to go to. So you could click on countries in Africa and then you could select which countries. Obviously it has all the countries listed here. I'm not gonna scroll through all of them, but then you could select which countries you want to visit. Or if you want to, you know, do house sits in North America, you could select on which countries you want to do house sits in, in North America. Click on all the countries you're interested in and then you'll click save all to save your preferences to your profile. Now that doesn't mean you can't search for house sits in other parts of the globe. If say you put in your preferences, hey, I wanna only house sit, I prefer houses in uh, Mexico, the United States, and I don't know, England. But then you're like, hey, actually I want to go to Thailand. You can still go into the platform and look for houses in Thailand. But your preferences are your preferences. They may come up in search more. They may show up on your profile. It does not mean you can't apply for houses in other parts of the world. All right, the fifth part of your Trusted House Sitters profile is your verification. So let's just click on manage so you can see what these verifications are. So you're going to look at your email address, your phone number, and then if you are in Oh, and then you'll do an ID check. So that's where you'll submit your identification, like driver's license or passport. And if you live in the United States, I believe it's only in the United States, you can get a background check, which gives you a little more um, credibility when applying for houses if you've had your background check completed. Um, homeowners are going, home or pet owners are going to look at that and say, oh, They've had their background check completed and there were no issues. So this is where you will come and get that information. And the last part of your profile is your references. So let's click on reference. When you add at least three references to your profile, you have a more likelihood of getting selected for house sit. Because if you're new to the Trusted House Sitters platform, you're not gonna have any reviews from any homeowners. 
So you need to have references from people that could corroborate that you are a credible person and that you will do a good job. If you have people that you may have, you know, a friend or someone that you've had to house or pet sit for them in the past, try to get them to leave a reference. And so when you leave a reference, you can put their information in, um, you'll put their name and contact information in here. So like request reference, you can put the first name of the person. We'll just put Joe as an example. And then you can send it to them via messenger, WhatsApp, email, or copy the link and send it to them. Um, and then you can always come in and like, if they haven't filled it out, you can always resend it to them. You definitely want to try to get references on your profile so you can have someone that believes you are credible to do pet and house sitting with trusted house sitters. So those are the six different parts of the trusted house sitters profile. Just as a reminder, there is no guarantee that based on what I did for my profile will actually work for you. You have to find a way to do things for yourself and make it sound genuine and make sure it is about yourself. If you see some parts of my profile written up here, yeah, you can use it as inspiration, but do not copy it word for word because the homeowner or the pet owner will find out that you truly are not that person and you do not want to have bad reviews from homeowners or pet owners on trusted house sitters. And when you do fill out parts of your profile, specifically the most important part is about your prior home and pet sits, make sure you really talk about your prior experiences. And if you haven't had prior experiences doing any of those things, make sure you look at if you are a pet owner or if you own your own home, or if you don't own a home, how you take care of your apartment or whatever it may be. Talk about those things so people can know what type of person you are and if you are credible of being a pet and house sitter. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It is free for you to do so and it helps me provide more and better content to you in the future. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a little tip by hitting the thanks button down below. If you have any questions or comments about this video, leave that down below in the comment box and I'll be gladly to get to them as long as it's related. And make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. And if you're interested in some travel merchandise to show that you're the exploring queen or king that you truly are, make sure you head on down to my merchandise store link down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are. Bye.